Hello, my name is William Neal. I'm the Product Marketing Manager with Presagis for the Embedded Graphics products. Today we're going to be talking about powering next generation DO178B and C certifiable embedded graphics solutions. And I'm going to be presenting with Benson Tao from S3 Graphics. So what is the Presagis S3 Graphics partnership all about? Well, Presagis now officially provides a driver for the S3 Graphics 2300 GPU. This means systems integrators can now leverage a new and powerful GPU for their safety critical embedded environments. Presagis is highly diligent in selecting our GPU partners for certification due to our users need for specific GPU functional data required under DO178 B and C and DO254. S3 Graphics are a great fit for a partnership with Presagis due to their commitment to the safety critical embedded industry and their willingness to provide the data systems integrators need to certify their systems. S3 Graphics understands the needs of embedded developers with long duration programs which can last several years or even decades and is committed to long term supply of GPUs where required. In terms of two certifiable COTS GPUs and OpenGL drivers, the industry really has very few options to choose from. It's our goal to offer a wider selection and provide more choice to customers for the projects that require or may require certification. This includes a strategy to offer a wide range of GPUs in both the medium and high performance range, while maintaining a strong power to performance ratio. The S3 Graphics current line of GPUs and future roadmap plan is a critical element in this strategy. The partnership is already resulting in several resounding benefits for customers, including more flexibility in the types of GPUs they can choose to integrate into their designs, a true certifiable solution in the sense that our users can trust that all of the data they need for certification is readily available, Peace of mind, knowing that both Presagis and S3 parts will be available to support our users for many years. The fact that the S3 graphics GPU and Presagis driver is the ideal platform to build next generation applications onto. And finally, the benefits of working with vendors that have the agility to support customers in a timely manner. Now Benson Tao from S3 Graphics will provide more details about the company, their products, and some specific technical details about the 2300E GPU, which is the first S3 Graphics product Presagis provides a driver for. Hello, my name is Benson Tao, and I'm a product marketing manager at S3 Graphics. Some of my responsibilities include product planning, and business development, focusing on bringing low power, innovative, and cutting edge 3D graphics and HD video to our avionics partners. I have been in the GPU and video industry for the last 10 years with roles as a system design engineer and product manager for embedded graphics and video processors used in mission critical, medical, and military applications. It is also a great pleasure to partner with Presagis, an innovator and leader in software and simulation know-how. Our partnership and ultimate goal is to bring a complete software, hardware, certifiable solution to partners while enabling feature-rich product designs using advanced technologies without sacrificing reliability, quality, and usability. S3 Graphics can be considered to be the original S3 that many people have known and loved and is considered a pioneer and one of the original founders of the GPU market we know today. We were founded in 1989 and currently headquartered in Fremont, California. Our California office is where we define corporate strategy and is home to our executives, senior managers and developers, and product planning teams. Our team consists of 350 people throughout the world, covering the US, Europe, and Asia. Over the years, we have been able to retain 
and recruit an excellent group of hardware and software engineers with intimate knowledge of GPU technologies, architectures, and software development. This allows us to build a strong worldwide team in advanced graphics R&D, engineering support which includes software developers, application developers, SQA, FAEs, production engineers, and system engineers, along with logistics and business personnel. Our multinational operations cover several time zones for same-day response and customer support, which happens to be one of our key strengths. Silicon design using the latest process nodes all the way down to 40 nanometers is another key strength since we have the facilities and equipment for design and testing that includes quick turn, emulation, simulation, and FPGA as part of our regular chip design flow. Our designs are also very power efficient, so our PowerWise design methodology and architecture have become major assets to help lower overall system power metrics for small form factor and rugged designs. To complete the overview of our company, as part of our long history and an original member in 3D graphics, we amass many technologies and key intellectual properties that many graphics vendors, satellite mapping software, and any form of 3D implementation use and reference in their products. We are happy to be able to share those features with you in our GPUs to help your product development and differentiation. The S3 ecosystem comprises of some key segments and business units we have under our brand, which includes mainly our embedded systems group working on mission critical products for marine ship display systems, cockpit displays, medical displays, surveillance and NVRs, to things like video walls, which include real-time traffic and aircraft monitoring, to items requiring robust hardware, dealing with financial transactions and ATMs, and point-of-sales machines. Other interesting designs include having our GPUs inside secure OEM thin clients for government and financial firms dealing with confidential information that is regulated by government and industry standards. Our other divisions include our digital consumer segment and IP licensing groups for PCs like notebooks, netbooks, secure thin clients, servers, and some of our products have also been licensed to other silicon vendors for incorporation into their products used in other military and wearable computers, as well as markets like casino gaming that have to abide by the local gaming regulatory agencies, for example, like those in Nevada. The main avionics product we are shipping today and being designed in many platforms is our long life, low power, 2300E GPU, which will be the main focus of the rest of this presentation. It is an ideal mix of graphics and video in a small 23mm by 23mm package, able to work in fanless, high heat and freezing cold temperatures, supporting extended temperature ranges. The graphics core is based on a combination of OpenGL and DirectX 9 APIs for flexibility in designing application-specific graphical user interfaces. It also supports DDR2 memory and the memory bus is configurable to support zero-frame buffer modes where the system memory is used instead of local graphics memory. The 4300E and 5300E are some more advanced GPUs based on our latest OpenGL 3.1 and DirectX 10.1 architectures for additional graphics capabilities for newer APIs. They also contain an HD video codec capable of decoding H.264 and MPEG-2 for multi-stream video decode as well as an OpenCL 1.0 engine for general purpose or GPGPU computations and simulations. The main interfaces of the 2300E include the display portion, memory bus, PCI Express interconnect to the system, and digital video input and output ports for additional displays or incoming video feeds from live camera captures that are needed inside cockpit displays. There are two analog DACs supporting a combination of RGB or VGA displays up to 2048 by 1536 resolution 
and 3.1 million colors. DAC number 2 can also output video signals such as YPBPR, S-Video, and Composite. The memory bus supports a 32 or 64-bit memory interface to DDR2 memories with speeds up to 500 MHz or the equivalent data transfer rate of 1 gigabit per second. We have the option of memory data compression to minimize bus traffic and lower power consumption as well as zero frame buffer where video memory next to the GPU is not required, only adequate space in system memory to store graphics data and commands. The PCI Express interface is flexible, supporting generation 1 speeds in widths ranging from by 1 lane all the way up to the full by 16 lanes. The 2300E has one built-in digital TMDS DVI and LVDS transmitter. Both digital displays are dual link or dual channel, meaning for example that the DVI output can go up to 2560 by 1600 resolution. The digital video port can be configured as an output or input to connect external display transmitters if an additional digital display is needed or to input video streams from a live source. The live source can also come into the GPU through the PCI Express bus, so depending on the system architecture, the GPU is flexible and supports both input modes. Some of the benefits include DO254 certification in addition to a robust graphics pipeline that is fixed function to prevent any accidental code morphing or shader changes since a pipeline is tightly controlled by the instructions and each stage of the pipeline is known all the way down to the register, instruction, and data levels that are going in and out of each block. This ultimately gives a user complete control of the GPU and all configurations. Parts of the GPU can also be shut down and isolated to ensure unused blocks are cut off from the rest of the GPU and system so no code or instruction ever touches unused portions of the GPU. This is another safety method implemented inside 2300E. To go along with our design expertise, we made sure from the beginning of the production definition that this would be a lower power device. The 2300E has successively been implemented as a fanless solution only requiring a heatsink for operation without compromising performance. This has helped existing customers ship reliable products in harsh environments. The 2300E also has extended temperature support which is called the 2300E-T part going from negative 40 to 85 degrees Celsius. We also go the extra step to increase screening parameters and additional rigorous testing to ensure dependable operation of the part before mass production. To ensure product longevity, we work very closely with our key suppliers like our foundry and packaging vendors to help with life cycle planning and long-term obsolescence protection. We also mitigate customer risk by being transparent with information exchange from our vendors to our customers. So from beginning to end, our customers will always know product status. To further help communicate and aid procurement planning, we give a one-year advance notice of any product EOL so there is sufficient time to work on product logistics. In addition, we will work closely with customers or any third-party stocking facility they use if they opt to purchase parts in bulk for storage and later use. Those parts can also be stored at S3's facilities if needed to match any future POs. We provide assistance to ensure the correct storage temperatures, humidity, baking, and other environmental factors are met to ensure co correct storage conditions. From a memory support point, we support the COTS memory parts and speed grades in different sizes to ease sourcing problems. We can also work with you directly to qualify any special DDR2 memory types that you want to use in your design and fine-tune memory timing parameters over the different voltage and temperature ranges. 
This is one important part of our support given to you when you purchase our GPUs. Another point about memory design and our memory controller is to design for the future with flexibility, taking into account the memory technology, cost, and other factors of the memory subsystem. Some items that come to mind are size of the frame buffer, width of memory, speed, voltage, and type. It's really important to balance the pixel and graphics throughput with the memory bandwidth so you do not end up in a situation where you have silicon whose performance cannot be realized due to some memory constraints. From the beginning, we design our memory interface and controller to prevent these sort of situations. Since a low power SKU, high performance SKU, and extended temperature parts are all pin-to-pin -pin compatible, you can create multiple platforms and offerings with one system design and PCB. This way you can design once and sell many platforms in different markets that you are in. The graphics core supports 3D through OpenGL or OpenGL ES and 2D through OpenVG for vector graphics, QT, and other APIs. The display is scalable and supports the latest digital displays through DVI or LVDS as well as analog displays. If you use a 2300E in multi-display mode, meaning you have two independent screens operating at the same time, or if you use both to drive a single large display, both display outputs are internally genlocked, so synchronization between the displays is exactly the same. The multiple displays also support independent rotation with independent content, and each display processor can scale, anti-alias, enhance, and perform display operations in real time. The scaling and anti-aliasing are good for line drawings on cockpit displays or for clear image of the runway on the display. As of today, there are over 1 million units of 2300E shipped and the numbers are increasing as more projects go into production. As a side note, from an IP standpoint, the same IP graphics core at the heart of the 2300E has been in over 100 million products shipped to various embedded, military, PC, consumer, and multimedia markets. Some markets are relevant to real-time and mission-critical projects that cannot have any downtime and deal with various regulatory and government standards. Other markets are consumer-driven to show the full range of S3 graphics technology and development which our technology enables. This list is not exhaustive to show our embedded designs, but it does list some programs that require a balanced GPU that includes not only the feature set and expectations of the target markets, but GPU architecture, design, packaging, and robustness in a quality product. With our design, we have taken the next step to achieve DO254 compliance and certification which includes not only S3 graphics, but also our foundry and packaging house partners to ensure that from all levels, you are involved from beginning to end and that communication flows through freely to prevent surprises down the road. I want to thank you for your time today and interest in the Presagious S3 solution. Please feel free to contact me if you have any questions regarding S3 or any one of our solutions. My contact information is Benson Tao at s3graphics.com. Thank you very much.